feeling like we're gonna fight ya Anything to make the crowd hate ya And I bring the fire like a lighter I'm flexing on you sucker, this is fight club Don't ever try to play me, I'm not with the fun Rookie of the year, and I'm hella young They call me Zombie Ray the next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros are comments made by Dilly and the Body Snatcher White. All right, I'm going to pull up those comments. Dilly and White, uh, he said to Sky Sports, uh, he said, do you think Tyson Fury cares? Tyson Fury don't care. He used to say he was the lineal heavyweight champion. He let the public think he is, but he does what he wants to. Tyson Fury doesn't care. He's a man that says one thing today and then says something else tomorrow. He doesn't give two hoots what the public thinks, White said to Sky Sports. He said he was fighting a man. He said he was a fighting man before he won the belt. He said he was going to fight me. He just talks rubbish. He said he was going to do this to me, do that to me. When I beat Deontay Wilder, I'm going to give Dillian White the first shot at the belt because he deserves it. He's waited so long, and he's worked so hard. After he wins the fight, he talks about fighting Derek Chisora. He's a joker. The WBC have obviously come forward and said, you have to fight me now, so let's see what he's going to do. He's tried everything to avoid me, even without, even without waiting for the outcome of my fight with Povetkin. He's so scared about the prospect of fighting me that his promoter begged the WBC to elevate him to franchise champion to keep him out of my clutches. Mauricio has said publicly that ain't happening. All going well. Hell be mine. But I'll fully expect him to run, run and run, just like that cow with Wilder before him. G, what are your thoughts on Dillian White's comments? Hey, man. I feel him. Tyson Fury did promise that he's going to give him that opportunity. But then again, I'm like, yeah, to be honest with you, Dillian has to understand this is prize fighting. And so, yo, man, it's all about the money. Like, if you're presented with an opportunity to, to face Anthony Joshua, you know, the biggest name in the heavyweight division, why would you go for the Dillian White fight, which you could possibly lose? I, I feel uh, Tyson Fury on this situation. Go for the AJ fight. It's a bigger fight. It's a bigger payday. It's like a no-brainer. Yo, poor Dillian, right? Because Dillian's in a tight situation. Like, it just, he's in limbo almost, right? Where it's like he has to constantly have to prove it to himself, uh, prove, not to himself, prove to everyone else that, you know, I deserve a shot, I deserve a shot. And everyone else is like, ah, go somewhere, you know? And so it, it does suck. Um, I, I will say this, though. Like, Wilder did duck him, right? I don't know if... Um, why but he he said he didn't want to he, he said he was gonna um i don't well this is coming from dillian with the text message he showed it the two people it, that were next to him i don't know if that's actually deontay wilder but i i would take his word for it that it was wilder who said yo i could freeze you out right and i, and I believe it because you would have gave him an opportunity already right so i believe dillian white on that wilder did try to freeze you out but then wilder lost so then now you have an opportunity but Fury's thinking, initially he was thinking, yeah, I'll give you a shot. You know what I mean? You cool, this and the third. But then again, with Tyson Fury, he's mentally unstable. One day he's rocking with you, the next day he's not. He's unstable, you know? So then now he's on something like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not giving you that shot anymore. Yeah, I lied. You know, I'm going to go with uh, Anthony Joshua. At least if I was Dillian White, I would understand. Because I'm like, who would pass up a fight with uh, the lotto winner? You know what I'm saying? Like, when you look at it like, AJ is mega bucks. Why not fight mega bucks versus? If I may, this isn't an ad lib. It's a slight interruption to answer your question. Who would pass up the lottery ticket, Deontay Wilder? Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> 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 hey, man. Whatever, yo. Chill. Go ahead. Man. <laughs> I swear to God, yo. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just going to say it like this. Everybody, all our people in the United States, all our people in the UK, England, Australia, 
Congos, Philippines, New Zealand, on the count of three. Let me get a port deal. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, oh, Dylan. Dylan. <laughs> this guy, listen, he can't catch a break. <laughs> he can't catch a break. He's never, never going to get it, never going to get it, never going to get it. <laughs> He's going to get his email. He's going to get the email. He ain't going to get it. Tell him, bro. You know what you going to get the email? <laughs> he ain't going to nah, get the email. They might not do it. They might do it so breezy. But like, oh, oh, Fury gave up the belt. You got to fight for it. <laughs> yep. That's <laughs> how they going to do it. Fight. If he beat yeah. Rebecca, it'll be like, oh, you got to fight somebody else for it. Yep. True. Yeah. Sure. That's how they going to be more hurdle. They're going to fight for it. Listen. Ortiz. <laughs> they're gonna make Ortiz do it. Mm -hmm. Ortiz. They're gonna make it they're gonna make it tough. Yes. It ain't and gonna they're gonna be like, all right, cool. That was just the eliminator. <laughs> 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 now you gotta fight Ruiz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they might. You know, I didn't think about that. They might just do it to him like that. He yeah. is Mexican based. I'm just saying. This they is. might just give him a Mexican fighter, you know. Dillian <laughs> getting that belt, I believe it when I see it. You know what I'm saying? I agree with you, Trill. Now I think about it, man. <laughs> yeah, man. It's looking greasy for your boy, Dillian. You know what I mean? Dillian, just win. That's all you can do is just win. Just you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just, just don't think about the belt. Think about the money and win. <laughs> just keep winning. Just keep winning like a Finding Nemo. <laughs> keep just winning. keep winning. <laughs> one day, uh, one day, you'll get one of these belts. But I don't think it's going to be the WBC. <laughs> That's what I got to say. Ah, uh, yeah. This, th then they say uh, this fight's going to be for like the diamond belt or something now with uh, Prevecan. Oh, man, this is just disrespectful. I'm telling you. They're going to give him something else. They're <laughs> they going to give him something else. They're doing poor Dillian Rue. They're going to give him the WBC UK belt. That's what they're going to give him. They're going to make Dillian the franchise champion. <laughs> no, they might as well. They treat him like one. They're going to make Dillian the franchise. <laughs> All right, Ned. What you Man, that's crazy. They promise that uh, Fury's going to run. He expects Fury to run like Wilder did. Uh, I don't expect Fury to run. I just expect, expect Fury to dock, duck him or dodge him or not pay him any no mind or disregard. He said he, 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 he ain't going to run. He going to skip. He going to skip. He ain't going to skip. He just going to duck. He just going to duck and dodge him. What the hell? <laughs> oh. He going to, you know, he going to, you see that that meme, that Will Smith meme? Billy, um, Fury sees Dylan White. He looks the other way, pays him no mind. That's that's Fury right there. That mean, but I, uh, you know, it's it's just hard out here for Dillian. Hopefully, you know, I've been rooting for Dillian. I want him to get this shot. You know, hopefully he doesn't blow it this Saturday. And you know, and now it's it's no more Dillian. <laughs> but it's the game, yo. I don't think I don't think Fury will want run, but I think Fury wants the biggest fight out there. And, and if he gives up the belt, vacates the belt. I hopefully I hope they don't um run Dillian through the mud where he has to fight. He has to it's like Mortal Kombat <laughs> uh the, the 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 Mortal Kombat style fight where he has to fight uh Ortiz, then uh Charles Martin, then um Ruiz, then Wilder just just in um um WC re um match Steve for Wilder to get his belt back. But it's uh, it's all, it's all get this, straight. Right this is great hoodie net saying yeah. he's not gonna run. But he will duck and dodge. Got you. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not, I'm not running. I ain't scared, but I ain't you. I ain't phased. By I ain't scared. I just don't want to fight. Yeah, gotcha. I don't want to gotcha. fight. I don't want to fight him. No. Yeah, look, man. I don't see Tyson Fury ducking or running. That's not my perception of what Tyson Fury is saying. To me, what Tyson Fury is saying is, I won the belt. I should get the fight for undisputed. I shouldn't have to take a fight that's less attractive to the public because this guy's the mandatory. And he's the mandatory that hasn't gotten his shot 
due to somebody else's, you know, lack of enthusiasm for taking the fight against this guy. So he said he expects Tyson Fury to run like Wilder did. I don't. I don't see it because Tyson Fury has taken tougher fights than Deontay Wilder throughout, the, throughout his career. And Tyson Fury's already agreed in principle to fight the man who Deontay Wilder could never reach an agreement to fight. So to me, Tyson Fury, I see him as someone who's trying to get the big fights done. I have no beef with Tyson Fury. I have no issue with him not wanting to fight Dillian White because there's a bigger fight out there. However, the question becomes, if he vacates the title, should that be, should he be viewed in a negative light? Because he chose to vacate the title instead of fight Dillian White. And of course, my thought process is, if you're going to take a difficult fight, shouldn't you get the most money? Shouldn't you take the guy who has the, the most accolades, the guy who is has three major titles, and the guy who beat Vladimir Klitschko like you, the guy who the public sees as being on par with you? What would be... Hey, I'm, I'm with you. I don't mean... I was just ad-libbing. I was like, hey, man, that sounds good. I'll drop one belt for three. <laughs> <laughs> that's simple math you know what I'm saying exactly. <laughs> and I think the perception is because I heard G make this argument that oh but Fury's dropping the belt so he's not bringing no belts he's bringing a status he's bringing your chance to etch your name along with the greatest Thanks. to have ever lace up a pair of gloves the greatest who ever stepped in the ring with the heavyweight division, because believe it or not, Joshua's name is not there. That's what I keep trying to tell you. When you look up the lineage, when you look up the lineal champs, meaning this guy was the man, then this guy beat the man, then this guy beat that man, then this guy beat that man, then this guy beat that man. Joshua's name is absent. The only way he can get that status is to beat Tyson Fury. Now, of course, the argument could be made it retired with Lennox, right? But someone had to pick it up. The Klitschko brothers never fought each other. So it is what it is. Vladimir Klitschko was perceived by most as being the best. So, and he, and he accomplished more than his brother. And Tyson Fury was the one who beat him. So you got to give it to the man Fury. But what, I, but what I'm saying is, for me, Fury's not running. He's trying to make the biggest fight that can be made in boxing right now. I can't fault nobody for that. Exactly. If, yeah. if, saying that he's running or ducking is kind of crazy to me, too. Yeah. I would pay him 1000 Like He's skipping you know, to the money. That's exactly. It's prize <laughs> fight. Like, you go for the big payday. Why are you going for a mandatory? You know what I mean? I don't know. But in a perfect world, Dillian would get his shot. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's just in a terrible position where <laughs> it's poor, like poor Dillian. <laughs> yeah. And so that's that's basically what it is, poor Dillian. But I don't I don't see nothing wrong with what Tyson Fury's doing. And I know there are gonna be people who are like, oh, you, oh, I got beef with what Caden said. How can he say? Okay, so you tell me you would risk a bag to do something, right? To do something to just prove what? What would be in Dillian White proof for uh, Tyson Fury? What would it prove? Because once he beat Dillian White, we'll still be saying, can he beat Joshua? So why not just fight Joshua? You know? <laughs> Quick question. Quick question. You know, since, you know, Usyk took step aside money. Like, he, he took, a, took a step aside so um, um, under, um, AJ wouldn't have to fight right now. Wouldn't have to fight him. Um, Pulev then Usyk, or whatever. Say Joshua and Fury undisputed was to happen. And White was to, like, since White is on the same side with Joshua, same side of the street as Joshua, and Eddie told him to take, just step back and gave him some step-aside money for, for now. So yeah, that's got to be a lot have. of money for Dillian to step aside, bro. He's been stepping aside for too long. That's yeah. gonna be too <laughs> with, that be a Dillian better or? win, or the WBC going to drop him down to number 10. Because yeah. <laughs> now... <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> why, 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 his, this brings up like, 
you better pay Dillian a lot of money or it kind of brings up like the Lennox Riddick Bowe scenario all over again. If you knew you were going to inherit the title and you didn't have to do anything, why would you do something? Mm -hmm. So like, if you know you got a title shot guaranteed and there's a high probability that you'll inherit the title, as long as you just be stubborn, why wouldn't you just be stubborn? Because Dillian White shouldn't care that we want to see Undisputed. He just needs to make sure he's a part of Undisputed. He just needs to make sure he's a part of the Undisputed fight, which he could do Facts. Yeah. If, he, if he gets the belt. So let him get the belt. If, if that's what, but Tyson Fury's like, Tyson Fury recognizes that the world is going to know he's the man who beat Wilder for WBC. He's the man who beat Vladimir Klitschko. He's the man who's recognized as the lineal heavyweight champ. That's enough to sell the fight between him and Joshua. That's enough. Mm -hmm. I got a question, though, because I kind of like what Ned is saying here. Couldn't Dillian White petition to the WBC that, hey, you know what? For the sake of the mega fight, I'm willing to fall back as long as y'all guarantee me whoever is the winner. You know what I'm saying? And in that way... They can't do that? No, because they're four major titles, right? But I'm just talking about for the least of the WBC. It doesn't matter because how can, how can you say, say, say Tyson Fury wins mm -hmm. and the WBC says, well, now you have to defend against Dillian White. Tyson Fury said, I'm going to give up that belt, the belt I want to keep the WBA. <laughs> yeah. So you don't want to do like Tyson Fury, man. That's why AJ need to win. Because at least AJ would want to keep them belts. Man, Tyson Fury will take the fights, bro. You just got – it got to make sense, man. You just can't – yo, look, Tyson – Now, we, what, what, pretty much what you're saying is, Dillian's forever screwed, bro. That's not I, what I'm saying. I can't even find a scenario. That's not what I'm saying. I'm like, saying Dillian White – yo, let's be real. For everyone who likes Dillian White, including myself, I'm just not, like, going to act like there aren't some issues with Dillian White. One, Dillian White lost to Anthony Joshua. Mm -hmm. Two, Dillian White fought Joseph Parker. And if there was – if they, if you still fought 15 rounds, my money would have been on Joseph Parker. Dillian White is lucky that the fights are only 12 rounds. Joseph Parker dropped Dillian White in the 12th round, and the bell saved Dillian. Okay, so he beat Joseph Parker, but he didn't look good doing it. He beat Oscar Rivas, but Oscar Rivas dropped him. Right? So then he fought um, Maurice Vack, I think his name is. He fought Maurice Vack, and he, he looked sluggish in that fight. Now, I know he was depressed and everything, and that's the reason why I'm picking him to beat Alexander Provekin. But if we're being honest, he didn't spark dudes out the way Joshua did to capture the imagination of the boxing world and for people to look at him and say, like, yo, he's that dude. Now, don't get it twisted. The body snatcher does have some nice knockouts on his resume, like Derek Chisora, like um, Lucas Brown. But those are two guys who the public looks at and they say, uh, you know, so he does have good wins, but he shows vulnerability in his fights, which is a great thing. Like, we like it. It, it makes for entertaining fights. But when it's all said and done, he hasn't captured – or he hasn't reached the level of status, superstar status that Fury and Joshua have reached. And so, whether right or wrong, people want to see those two guys fight. And you can't get mad because they won't get that money. I yeah. ne I, I'll i never get mad at a mega fight, ever. I, I hear what you're saying. But let's just say Tyson Fury beats Anthony Joshua. It's, it's solidified. He might as well legally change his name to Paul Dillian. Because he's never <laughs> he's never I, gonna get a time. Know Fury won't fight him. Ah man, listen. Because like you said, you know, you fight. know why? Like you said, if it don't make sense. dollars, it, it don't, don't make, make sense. sense. Exactly. <laughs> I, mean, I, I can see, I can see him taking Ruiz before Dillian. I could too. I'd be yeah. Why not? The money, the money. Mm -hmm. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. I don't know. You know what I think. I think it should just play out the way it plays out. If if Dillian, just stand your ground, get the WBC, and then one of them got to see you. That's the way it is. Just stand your ground, get the WBC. They'll fight each other. 
and, and whoever wins that fight will be seen as the man. Without a doubt, everyone in the boxing world will see the winner of Fury and Joss was the number one guy in the heavyweight division. But they got to come see you because you got that last piece. So that's the if, if I could advise Dillian White, what I would say is the, if you want to be that guy, don't take just keep belt. winning, just keep winning, <laughs> exactly. just keep winning, get that belt, and then they got to come see you. That's that's what I would tell them. Hey, let us know how you feel. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Also, check out our cast on all major streaming services. It's the Boxing Bros. Catch me creeping down the dark street. This is where it means the zombies meet. Game with T, we all gonna eat. A zombie red game with HD. I'm a zombie in the night, you better run for me. Zombie red in the house, you better run, homie. Brought a mask and some gloves with some thugs with me. I came to do damage, you wanna purge with me. Super Saiyan zombie, I'll be.